Hello Muse Makers, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing some very cute little bunnies that are stargazing. So my paints that I'm using today, I have all of these beautiful colors. I have black, white, red, yellow, green, and brown. Now here are the brushes that I'm gonna be working with today. I have one flat round brush, one flat square brush, and one thin pointy brush. Using my square brush, I'm going to load it up with some black paint and use just the tip edge to draw the line that divides my land from my sky. It's going to start bottom left and kind of wiggle up towards the right. It covers a very small portion of this canvas. Then I'm just going to take that black paint and fill everything up above that line. Now we're going to add some stars by grabbing our small pointy brush, a little bit of white paint, and adding a ton of water to it. We want to create like a melted ice cream or milk-like consistency because we're going to be doing some splatter paint stars. So mix up a decent amount of water, then you're just going to tap the back of your brush to splatter the paint downwards. Next, we want to mix up the green that is going to be in our grass or ground. With my square brush, I'm going to grab a little scoop of white, big scoop of yellow, and a small scoop of green. Then I'm just going to work to fill up this entire bottom section with this green paint. Then I'm going to switch over to my small pointy brush in that same green paint. We're going to be adding a grass-like texture to the top of our ground. We're simply going to start on the ground and then flick up. We want to do this in small little patches and we want some to go off to the left, some to go off to the right, some straight up, some longer, some shorter. You want to vary all those shapes and sizes. Next, I'm going to be creating a slightly lighter green by just adding some more white paint to the green I have mixed up. And on top of my grass, towards the top, towards the middle, on the sides, we're going to be adding that same grass texture all over. Then with a clean brush, I'm going to grab a little scoop of white and a nice decent sized scoop of brown and mix up the color for the tree trunk that my bunnies are going to be sitting on. Draw a straight line at the top of your grass that is about three to four inches long. And we do want to widen it up a bunch. I would say two or three brush widths is the width for your trunk. And on the edges, you can curve those a little bit to give that dimensional look to your trunk, make it look more like a 3D shape rather than a 2D shape. Now I wanna mix a slightly darker brown. So I'm gonna add some more brown and a little bit of black paint to the brown I already have. And we're gonna be taking this to add some shadows in. So at the base of the trunk where it kind of is sitting on the side, along the bottom, and then throwing a couple of lines throughout to start that kind of wood texture look. Then I'm gonna get a clean small brush and get back into my light brown paint. We're going to be painting in this small branch that's on the left top side of our trunk. I'm going to start at the top, 
wiggle it down to my trunk and then add another branch to it creating almost like a Y shape. Then I'm going to go ahead and take that darker brown and throw some darker brown over top of it as well. Now we want our last and deepest shadow color. So we're gonna add some more brown, more black, make the darkest shade we got, and add in all those little fine lines and details to make this trunk really pop. So that little rounded line on each end of your trunk, and then a couple of lines in the middle of the trunk to give that wood texture. Next, we're gonna be mixing up the color for our moon. Our moon is going to be a nice, beautiful C shape. So with my small brush, gonna grab a scoop of white and a scoop of yellow and mix those up. And in the top left corner of our sky, we're gonna start on one part of our crescent moon and draw just a nice letter C. Using very light pressure at the tip of the moon, adding more pressure towards the middle of the moon, and then releasing pressure again at the other side tip of the moon. Then with a clean brush, we're gonna be getting into a little bit of white paint and adding a couple of highlights within that moon while it's still wet. Next, we're gonna mix up the color for our bunnies with your small brush. In that yellow mixture we have, I'm adding another scoop of yellow and a very small touch of red. It's more of a deeper, kind of sunset yellow color. So mix, mix, mix. And we're gonna be drawing the bodies of our bunnies first. These are just basically like little ovals that are sitting on top of our tree branch or tree trunk. We have one that's a little bit larger, one that's a little bit smaller. I'm guessing this is a mother and a baby or a dad and a baby. And now for the heads of the bunnies, they're basically circles with slight pointiness to the top because that's where the nose is going to be almost like a little cone head, if you will. Now, while we let our bunnies dry, we're gonna be adding some more stars in our sky that shine a little brighter. With your small brush in white paint, we're gonna just draw a couple of little plus signs with X's also written through them. Then we're gonna draw a little shooting star by drawing a little dot and then a little tiny line that connects to that dot and you have a little shooting star. It is something these bunnies are wishing upon. They wish they have carrots next to them. <laughs> and if you wanna add any stars that are a little bit bigger of circles, you can actually take the back end of your brush and just poke the paint and then poke your canvas. Next, if you wanna engrave something into the trunk of your tree, you can take some white paint on your small brush. In this case, I'm gonna be drawing just a little tiny heart on the bottom right side of my trunk. Now, I'm gonna get a clean brush and get back into my darker green. We're gonna be painting in a couple of uh, grass lines at the bottom of our trunk to make it seem like it's really nestled into the ground. We're gonna do that with the dark green and then also with the light green. Next with a clean small brush, we're gonna be mixing in a little bit more red and yellow to the yellow paint we made for our bunnies. Make a nice beautiful tangerine orange. We're gonna be drawing in the ears for our bunnies next. We're simply just gonna be drawing two vertical lines in the body that stops right below the head. Two lines on each bunny. Now, with a clean brush, we're gonna grab a little bit of white paint and we're just going to wiggle in some white paint towards the top of the head. This is where the nose and the cheeks are gonna be. It's just a little bit of a different color. With the white paint, we're also gonna be adding some fluffy tails at the bottom of the bodies of our bunnies. 
And lastly, with the white paint, we're gonna draw little whiskers that come off each side of each cheek for each bunny. I would say about two to three whiskers is great. Make sure you use very light pressure so these lines are very small. Next, we wanna create the pink for the nose. So with a clean, small brush, you're gonna grab a scoop of white, a little bit of red, make a nice rosy pink. And just going to boop a little dot at the end of the nose or the top of the head. Now we wanna give the bunny some eyes. So with a clean, small brush in black paint, we're just gonna draw two small dots in the middle of each head. Then sticking with that black paint and my small brush, we're going to outline the head, the ears, and the tail. Now that is the last and final step to creating these super cute stargazing bunnies. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We would love to see what you're painting at home. You can post on social media and tag us at muse underscore paint bar so we can check them out. And if you love this tutorial and want to see more from our channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And with that, don't forget to always paint outside the lines.